My name is Michael Richmond. Oh, I'm not supposed to move behind the podium, right? I'm the principal tech lead on the platform and infrastructure team at Bitly. Um, There's where you find me on Twitter. I'm going to talk about Bitly and our use of Go templates. At Bitly, we like things that are straightforward. Straightforward is uh, obvious. It's what you expect. We don't like things to be overly complex or overly subtle because that makes them hidden and, and hard to actually write and follow. So we've, over time, migrated everything we, that we do on the back end, especially from things like Python, mostly Python, to Go. Uh, we write everything in Go. Actually, we have a blog post on the go.dev site, if you go look at it, called Why We Write Everything in Go. And I love hearing about the uh, performance improvements from Python to Go in the context of, which was it, the 15 times faster on the data processing this morning. I love that. So in the process of moving things from Python to Go, we also move things like web apps. And when we were writing web apps, of course, we want to write some HTML into our Go web, app, web apps. OK, HTML template, right? It's the obvious go-to, simple, not so fast. What are you going to do first? The docs, right? OK, I want to know how to use HTML templates in Go. I'm going to go look at the docs. But before I go there, in my mind, I'm thinking, OK, for a simple web page like this on the left, I want to write some handler code that looks like this on the right. And really the key here is this is a very simple handler function. All it's doing is setting up some data that I'm gonna to pass to a template and executing the template. This is what I want to do to actually execute a template, but this is not how templates work. So how do I make it so they do work like this? So line 11, that's what I wanna do. So here I go, let me check out the docs, right? Let's do it. Good luck. Because if you've looked at these docs, they are confusing and definitely not straightforward. They're basic and not in a straightforward way. And in fact, they're kind of confusing. Uh, <laughs> you do, and they don't really provide any guidance on how to create a full-fledged web app serving dynamic HTML. So I'm left with a lot of questions like, how am I supposed to load my templates? Do I use like a single call to parse glob or do I load multiple, I do a call multiple times to parse files, or is it something else? How do I reference the template by the HTML file name, which is what I want to do after all? Um, how do I leverage like common elements that I want to include on every web page or most web pages, like a base HTML file or something like that? And in the end, how do I manage all that in my application? Well, we added a thin wrapper package called Templater, to do all these things and make it work in the straightforward way that we want. And by the way, I will have a link at the end of this to a full working example. So here's my alert. There are five code slides coming. First one, here's how the templater package is used, is called. Uh, you'll see at line three, an import of the actual internal templater package. Uh, line 16 is, the load templates call, I'm passing in a directory that's going to hold all my HTML files. I just want to load them all, right? This is something that's called from func main in a web app. So startup application, load the templates. That's the first of two calls in this package. The second call is the actual execute the template given the name of it and the data. Not complex, right? Because I don't want it to be complex. I want this to be obvious and straightforward. So that's how I call this package. What does the actual package look like? Since I want to call things by name, you're not surprised to see a map under the covers, right? I have a map at line 11, at 12 here, which is simply a string map with actual HTML templates. Uh, you see the import at line uh, four, which I'm just kind of aliasing HTML to the actual template package. So I've got a map of HTML packages. I said two functions, right? The first function is the load templates function. You're guessing at what it's going to do because it's obvious, right? It's going to, given a template directory you're going to pass in, first at line 21 here, I'm defining a global file that every other HTML file might want access to. Uh, at line 23 here, I'm just globbing through that directory that was passed in and looking for star.html. And then at line 28, I'm gonna loop over these files. At line 30, here is the actual invocation of the template packages new function. 
I'm making a new template. Line 33, I'm adding uh, my global functions in a funk map that I actually want to have accessible to those templates. And then at line 40, I'm adding it to the map. And at line 45, I am, uh, oh, there's parse files in here too. I don't have this highlighted. But if you see at line 35, that's the actual call to parse files for the one HTML file and the global files that it might want to access. Add it to the map at line 40, return the whole thing at 45. That's one of the two calls. Second call, execute template. Really simple, right? Look up the template by name in the map and execute it at line 56. This, thankfully, lets me do, I'm going to pause for the ding. Um, this lets me do what at line 11 I wanted, which is execute template for this response writer for this HTML by name and pass it this data. Victor. By the way, under the covers, it's all the same HTML stuff that you'd expect to see, which is on the left here, the base HTML file, which is like, you know, your common elements, like your open HTML tags and your head section and static JSS, JS and CSS um, includes. The line 10 here, you see the block body, uh, some two upper calls, the sample on the right. That's it. It's less than 100 lines of code and makes it work like we want it to work. How do you do it? Someone come and demystify what it's supposed to be done with these templates. This is a QR code that actually links to the uh, repo of sample code in, in GitHub. And I got seven seconds. I wanted to let Eric pull me off. Um, I carry a cane because I'm partly blind. That's it. Thank you.